Good morning, children. Uh, my name is Karen Lee. Karen is my first name. I like to put your car in the garage. And I'll be coming to you every Wednesday and Friday at 11 o'clock reading you a picture book. A picture book is the kind um, that has big pictures in it. Um, I was a teacher for many years, um, mostly uh, middle school and high school, uh, mostly English, so I did a lot of reading and writing with my students. Um, I'm a mom to two kids. They're all grown up now. Amelia is 20. This is her in fourth grade. You can see how feisty she is. And Miles is 19. You can see his big smile. I have a husband named Bill. He is also a teacher. He teaches at Summersworth High School, a film and broadcast. Um, so you can tell that he's at home now, working out of home. He did a famous film on Bodie Miller, the Olympic skier. You can look that up on YouTube and watch that. He also did one called My Uncle Joe, which is on YouTube, and that's a great film. I really recommend that. Uh, we have two all male. We have two male, all black cats. Um, my daughter's cat is Midnight. He's small and shy. My son's cat is Saturday. He's big and bold. Um, I know you're missing your friends at school, and I know you're especially missing the library. So, I thought I would help out by reading these stories to you. Let's dig right in. Um, I'll start with one of my very favorite books called Wings by Christopher Myers. He did the writing and the illustrations, the pictures. Uh, you can tell, if you look at the pictures, that he was very clever with the scissors. He cut out shapes and pasted them on paper and he used all different kinds of paper. Various colors and textures. The textures are so dramatic that you feel when you're reading the book as if you could touch the textures on the page. There's a girl in yellow who's the narrator, the person who tells the story. You'll notice her on every page. The, the other main character is Icarus. Um, he's called the fly boy. Um, and he has a pair of wings. And Icarus is a, na is a name from mythology. You can go look that up. He built himself a pair of wings and tried to fly to the sun. Um, so I think that's where the main character gets his name. All right, let's begin. Wings by Christopher Myers. Look at that strange boy. Everyone from the neighborhood is pointing fingers and watching the sky. How's he doing that? They stretch their necks and shake their heads. Icarus Jackson, a new boy on my block, is flying above the rooftops. He is swooping and diving, looping past people's windows and over the crowd. I don't think he's strange. It 
Icarus, the flyboy, came to my school last Thursday. His long, strong, proud wings followed wherever he went. The whole school was staring eyes and wagging tongues. They whispered about his wings and his hair and his shoes, like they whisper about how quiet I am. You could see his fancy patterned shoes and all the staring faces. and the girl in yellow. Our teacher complained that the other kids couldn't help but gawk and stare. He said that Icarus's wings blocked the blackboard and made it hard for the students to pay attention. The teacher told Icarus to leave class until he could figure out what to do with his wings. He left the room quietly, dragging his feathers behind him. One boy snickered. You can tell the girl in yellow is upset. At recess, the snicker grew into a giggle and spread across the whole playground. Soon, all the kids were laughing at Icarus Jackson's useless wings. I thought that if he flew just once, everyone would stop laughing. Icarus looked up, flapped his wings a couple of times, then jumped into the air. You can see the girl in yellow pointing to him. He swept through the schoolyard like a slow motion instant replay. You can see him in the handball court and in the basketball court. But the other kids were not impressed. One girl grabbed the basketball. A boy stuffed the handball in his pocket. Somebody nagged. Nobody likes a show off. And they're all pointing. Their words send Icarus drifting into the sky, away from the glaring eyes and the pointing fingers. I waited for them to point back at me as I watched Icarus float farther and farther away.
Walking home from school, I knew how he felt, how lonely he must be. Maybe I should have said something to those mean kids. Yeah, I wonder what she'll do. I ran through the street with my eyes to the sky, searching the clouds for Icarus. You can see all the patterns in the paper. Icarus struggled to stay in the air. His wings drooped and his head hung low. Icarus landed heavily on the edge of a building and sat with the pigeons. Pigeons don't make fun of people. You can see the pigeons below him. A policeman passing by blew his whistle. You with the wings, come down from there. Stay yourself on the ground. You'll get in trouble. You'll get hurt. It seemed to me Icarus was already in trouble and already hurt. Could the policeman put him in jail just for flying, for being too different? When the neighborhood kids saw the policeman yelling at him, they exploded with laughter. Icarus dropped to the ground. Stop, I cried. Leave him alone. And they did. I called to Icarus and he sailed closer to me. I told him what someone should have told him long ago. Your flying is beautiful. For the first time, I saw Icarus smile. At that moment, I forgot about the kids who had laughed at him and at me. I was just glad that Icarus had found his wings again. Look at that amazing boy! I called to all the people on the street. 
as I pointed to my new friend Icarus swirling through the sky. And there she is calling to everyone. And there is Icarus so high he's above a bridge. And that's the end of our book for today. I can tell you a little bit about the guy who did the writing and the illustrating. He is also a photographer, a clothing designer, a sculptor, and um, a very fine dancer. So he's really interesting. And he's done other books that you should look up. His name is Christopher Myers, M-Y-E-R-S. So have your parents help you look for more books by him. Um, a word to the parents. Let's see, as I told the kids, I have 16 years of experience in teaching um, of a variety of ages, mostly high school and middle school. Um, a variety of subjects, mostly English, so mostly reading and writing. I chose to do this project because I love kids' books and I have a, a big collection. And uh, because I, I think it might be the hardest for the littlest ones to be at home um, and be out of school. Um, a lot of the books I use will be from a collection from the Maine Humanities Council, their new books, new readers uh, collection. Um, I'll be coming to you twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 11 o'clock. Because the books are quite short, it won't last long, but I hope it will give the kids and you something to look forward to. Um, okay, great. It's been a pleasure. And we'll do this again on Friday. Bye-bye.